here I'm um, actually showing my face today I decided to do something a little bit different today um, if you've watched any of my videos or my thrifty haul videos you know I love old paper whether it's books or yearbooks or playing cards or greeting cards or handwritten things or magazines or I could go on um, <laughs> I love old papers so since I have just had that giveaway that included a paper pack, I thought it might be fun to do a roundup of 10 different ways I've used in the past old papers. Now, I'll probably have another 10 ways after this to um, kind of expand on that, but we're going to start with 10 that I've, I've previously shared with y'all, and I'll have some links um, below as well as maybe up there and um, probably a link to my blog to kind of just round it all up. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions and thanks. All right, so the first thing on this list is to collage with those old papers. Tear them up, slap them down with some glue. I've done this in all of my iCads pretty much. Number two is to make a junk journal. I've got a whole video on how to do that yourself and it makes a great way to use those papers. Number three is to use these papers in a bezel. Um, again, I've got a video on how I created these little charms using some UV resin. Number four, just cut out some words and make them your sentiments in your mixed media art. Um, you can find all kinds of great phrases or make your own using the words you find. Number five is draw some neurographic doodles on that paper. I am obsessed with this type of doodling and it's a lot of fun. Number six, make some earring cards. I like to use old paper as the backer to my jewelry designs. So I've got a video on that to show you how to do it. Number seven, use the yearbook photos as the focal images in your art. I love some old yearbooks. They are classic and cool and perfect. Number eight, create some soldered bubbles. Make the images on the paper a um, focal image for some jewelry. Number nine, draw your focal images right on that paper. For this one, I just sewed the paper first and then doodled my little flower fairy right on it. And number 10 is to cut out some words or numbers and stick them on a little jar as a label. All right, guys, that is it for the 10 ways you can use some paper. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching. Bye.